Okay, so something a little different. Purple TA four speed. And um, this is done by a really nice young lady. It's her car. They just got the car not too long ago. But uh, there's a neat little story with it. And uh, we can walk around on it like I always do. You can see the car. Um, dual mirrors, standard dash, four speed. Probably the only options on the car. Um, but uh, it's a nice car though overall. Can't beat it. We're gonna get a little shot of the interior as we go by here and then I'll get around the other side. We're gonna pop the hood. I'm gonna have Jane's husband tell me the story on the car because there's a little story that goes with it. And as with everything, the cars are cool themselves but it's the story that we wanna talk about and hear why she bought the car. So I'm going to have him, Rick tell the story here. So Rick, what, what was the story with, with this? I mean, your wife had a car when she was in high school. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and tell what happened? Yeah, when I met Jane, she had a 71 Charger. It was like Robin Egg Blue with a white vinyl top, 383 automatic, and she loved it. And we got married, and we wanted to start doing some different things, so I talked her into trading it in on a K5 Blazer <laughs> so we could go four-wheeling in the mountains. In yeah, because you can't go four-wheeling with no, a Charger, you right? Can't, no, no. <laughs> and so we did that, and but she always loved... Mopar, Chryslers, and Chargers, and so many years later, we've been married 43 years now. And wow. when I, a few years back, I've always wanted a '56 Thunderbird. So finally, about four years ago, she let me buy my Thunderbird. So I'm enjoying my Thunderbird, and she's always pining about Chryslers and how nice the body styles are, and she'd love to have a muscle car one day. So finally, I said, "Look, we're getting getting in our golden age. I mean, if we don't buy one now, when are we going to own it? So let's find one." So right. we found one in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Guy. Uh, he was the second owner. The car was originally bought at a Dodge dealership in Camp Hill mm -hmm. by a gentleman from Gettysburg. Right. And and then uh, the gentleman we bought it from bought it from him 35 years ago, and he restored it back then. So I'm talking about the engine and all that. Yeah, yeah, tell us. So that's okay. When, when he got the car, uh, it has a 391 rear end, and somebody obviously blew the engine up. Right. So he put a, a rebuilt, he rebuilt a 71 340 engine, rebuilt Correct. the transmission, and restored the car, and it was his baby for all these years. Yeah, because I... I know the story too because I know Henry Fox. Henry's yeah. a great guy. Henry's been a Mopar guy yep. all his life. Yep. He's had cars, endless amounts of cars. Yeah, he restores cars. Left right. And, right, and and, and you know Henry had this car here at the last reunion, yeah. and he was trying to sell it then. Yeah. And then he kind of changed his mind, and yep. so it's it's a good car. It, as you said, it's an older restoration. Yeah. Cool. Still shows beautiful though. There's yeah. it's nothing. It's not we, an ugly car in any, in actually, any aspect. We actually were looking for a seventy or see one of a seventy or seventy one Cuda, Challenger. Roadrunner should be something like that. Right. So on Craigslist, this guy had the '72 Challenger Rally blue, right? And it was it was it was Henry, it was Henry right. So we called about it, and it looked nice. It wasn't the year she wanted, but we thought, well, it's close. So we asked him if we come down and look at it, and he said, sure. I said, but my wife really wanted a '70 or '71, and he said, well, hey, I've got a, another car I'm going to sell. I haven't listed yet. It's a '70 TA. I said, what's that? I never heard of it. So he gave me the skinny on all that. So we went down and looked at it. We didn't even look at the challenge around right. when we saw this. Let's go take a look under the hood. Sure. And purple's her favorite color, too, of course. Now, we just found out yesterday, there was a couple things Barry Washington went over with us. It has electronic ignition, which Henry put in. Mm -hmm. But also, there, uh, should I show the couple little things? Sure, sure. So we got to paint these two bolts black. Correct. It doesn't have the correct radiator. Correct. And we found one yesterday. We're going to put that in. Um, and the, the mirrors, the screws on the mirrors are actually flathead stainless right, steel right. instead of chrome. Correct. Yeah, so we're going to get those. That's not a big deal. It's small detailing stuff. Yes, I mean, it's little, stuff. little details. And, and we you know, found they, out that, make the, a lot. that the wheel trim, that these weren't from the factory. So right, somebody, they were added on. Dealer somebody, or somebody added Right, that. added them on. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So we found out a lot of little things about the car. Oh, and the breather element. It's off a of slant six. Yeah. I found a breather element for it yesterday. Yeah. So Henry's going to do all that for us. Yeah, yeah. And it has a 391 rear end in it. My wife wants to be able to drive it. So you're going to go with 323? 355. 355. Okay. He has it. We bought it. We already paid for it. He reconditioned it. He's going to put it in for us. Good. Yeah, yeah. Henry's good about this. Henry, Henry's a really good guy. Yeah, really good. Um, and he took really good care of the car, too. He did. He yeah. didn't really get it out too much. I know they had it the one year. Him and his wife had both had cars. They brought them here. He had an AR, and that's also been sold. And notice the clutch but, uh, pedal, right? Yeah, I see the clutch I had pedal. My matter. wife's five one. <laughs> and so you I gotta give her a little help. Yeah, I ordered another big one last night on the internet, actually. And as you can see, it's a what it is. It's like a step up yeah. to give her more, a little more reach. Yeah. Uh, but, but I got uh, another one I just ordered last night that you can do. That's, that's cute. And that's cute. Yep. And it's a good story too, you know, because she had a charger in high school and yep. went through what she did and. Yeah. 
Talk. She's always been a Mopar. Right, so it's, so it's nice to see these things here like this. Yeah. And and the stories the stories always make the car better. Yeah, when there's a good story with the car, it's sure. it's a lot cooler to hear. And we take it out so, once a week. We take live out here drive. in the country here in Carlisle. Yep. We do the back country roads. She doesn't like to take it out on the highway. So we just do the country roads. We'll go to a ice cream stand or a drive-in restaurant place. And You're just, enjoying yourself. Enjoying that's that's what it's all about. We, that's what it's all a, about. It's not a trailer queen. We, enjoy, we, we use the car. We like the car. That's it. Well, thank you very much for, for letting me do a quick video for everybody and, and tell a story about the car. We appreciate it. Pleasure. Again, you guys, TransAmCuda.com, the Aracuda Registry, Challenger TA Registry, Hamtrak Historical. Those are Barry sites. Go by and visit him. Again, like, share, comment, suggestions. We want to hear about it. I got a couple more for you and we're gonna move on. So we'll see you in a little bit.